If you consider yourself a weekend warrior, there is a place you need to be. Rhonda Moore shows us one of the challenges you can take at the Midwest Outdoor Experience. Good morning. One of the fun things you'll be able to do out here is go mountain bike riding, and that's what I'm going to do in a few minutes. But first, I want to talk to Andy Williamson. We are hosting the Imbo Bike Village. Our objective is to get everybody out here on a bicycle, come out at the Midwest Outdoor Experience, and uh, enjoy and have fun riding around our two different courses. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and ride the course. Now, what are some of the obstacles that I'm going to come across? We, ha we have a bunch of different features from things that you would see out in the woods when you're riding your mountain bike or along the trails. We have some some rollovers, some rocks, some logs, and some built structures that really help you uh, develop some balance and some skills while you're riding the bike. We're riding on the easy course, right? Yes, we have two options. We have a, a beginner and a youth course, and we also have an advanced uh, airborne cross-country loop. Okay, so who can get on the advanced one? Well, people that feel like they have been on a bike, a little more comfortable, maybe have been on a mountain bike before and are comfortable uh, exploring some of the higher, more skill level features. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit longer, and a little bit uh, more technical. So same type of elements, just a little bit higher skill level. Yeah. Imba has been here at this event. This is our third year. We're really excited to partner with Five Rivers Metro Parks and Midwest Outdoor Experience and uh, looking forward to a great weekend. We have, we'll have even more stuff set up for even the little ones on little bikes. We've got something for all ages and abilities. It gets so busy over here, we lose count. We have a line ready to get on these bikes and it's a great time. It's, it's something to be seen for sure. Now I know I like riding a bike, so this is fun. Now if you're coming to the Midwest Outdoor Experience, it is this evening from 6 until 10 and tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. here at Eastwood Metro Park in Dayton. And coming up at 8.05, we'll be playing a different kind of golf. Back to you guys. Rhonda, thank you. Well, it's one of the largest festivals in the Midwest celebrating the outdoors. You can take part and have a lot of fun doing it. Rhonda Moore shows us one of the cool events. Good morning. I'm used to playing golf, <laughs> but this is a different type of golf, and it's a game that you can play out here at the Midwest Outdoor Experience. And joining me now is Steve Dosh. Look at that. Okay, <laughs> you're making me look bad. Like it's easy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so talk about this game because it is a different type of golf. It's called disc golf. Yes, it is. Um, disc golf is played just like ball golf. Each throw counts as one stroke. And you throw your disc wherever it lands. You put your foot there and you throw again until you get it in. It's the funnest sport I've ever played. In disc golf, traditionally, you play a par three, which means it's expected to get three, stro three throws to get into the basket. If you take two throws, that would be a birdie. If you take four or more, that would be a bogey or a double bogey. Just the scoring is exactly the same as ball golf. So is this something you can play by yourself or should you play with partners? I'll go out and it's a therapeutic thing. <laughs> so I play by myself and uh, it's obviously a very fun game with a group. So how popular is it? Uh, disc golf keeps growing very quickly. Uh, 10 to 15% in the US, 20 to 25% in Europe. We're upwards of a million people playing every month. Do a lot of people come out here and uh, play it? This is one of our better events. Um, we had between three and 500 people come out and play last year. I'm looking to beat that this year. All right. Well, if you want to come out here to the Midwest Outdoor Experience and have some fun and play disc golf, you can do so this evening from 6 until 10 and tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. here at Eastwood Metro Park in Dayton. And coming up at 8.50, we'll have some high-flying dogs. Hey, I made it. Back to you guys. Nice work. Yeah, great, Rhonda. Canoeing, kayaking, climbing, skating, just a few of the things you could do this weekend. Yeah, Rhonda Moore says the whole family can enjoy the Midwest outdoor experience. Good morning. Yes, this event is for the whole family, but it's also for your family dog. And joining me now is Lucy Sanchez with Five Rivers Metro Park. So what is the name of this event for the dogs? This is called Subaru Ultimate Air Dogs, Rhonda. Okay, so what are the dogs going to do? They're going to... He held back at that point, and then their owner throws a toy, and the idea is that the dogs jump as far as they can into the water. So how many dogs do you normally get participating? 25 to 30, Rhonda. I think everybody gets a lot of fun out of this. The dogs, the dog owners, and all the spectators. So whether you have a dog to enter the competition, it's very spectator friendly. It's a great thing to watch, fun for everybody. And so what do they get, bragging rights? Um, medals, awards, bragging rights definitely, and just to know that they're the ultimate air dog. All right, and so J.D. McKnight, your dog, Story, won uh, this a couple of times, right? Yeah, she's won it the last two years. She's also a three-time national champion with ultimate air dogs and recently appeared on the Letterman Show. Oh, wow. Now, is she going to um, do it this year, too? Or? Yes. So uh, do you think she'll be able to win this year? Hopefully. Hopefully she's jumping really good right now. So what do you do? Do you train her to do this, or how does this work? Uh, 
a lot of people do train. We don't live on a lake. We don't have a pond. We don't have a pool. We just, we're fortunate we have a good dog. We play a lot of Frisbee and I run with her. Can people still register their dog? Both uh, today and tomorrow, Saturday, you can come out and register your dog and you might have the next Ultimate Air dog. All right, sounds good. Well, if you're coming to the Midwest Outdoor Experience, it is this evening from 6 until 10 and tomorrow from 11 a.m. until 8 p.m. here at Eastwood Metro Park in Dayton. It's always a lot of fun, so make sure you come out and enjoy it. Back to you guys. All right, thank you, Rhonda.